Hello, and welcome to Splaining Health. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important neurotransmitters in our body, serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical that plays a crucial role in regulating our mood, appetite, and sleep. But there's so much more to this fascinating molecule than that. What is serotonin? Serotonin is a neurotransmitter, which means it's a chemical messenger that carries signals between nerve cells in the brain and throughout the body. It's produced in the brain and in specialized cells in the gastrointestinal tract, where it plays a role in regulating gut motility. Serotonin works by binding to receptors on the surface of cells, triggering a cascade of chemical reactions that can affect mood, appetite, and other bodily functions. It's often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter because it's associated with feelings of happiness and well-being. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to a variety of mental health conditions, including discouragement, anxiety, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. This is why medications that increase serotonin levels, such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors (SSRIs) are often used to treat these conditions. However, it's important to note that too much serotonin can also be harmful. In some cases, an excess of serotonin can lead to a condition called serotonin syndrome, which can be life-threatening. Serotonin syndrome can occur when there's too much serotonin in the body, either due to the use of certain medications or the combination of multiple medications or supplements that increase serotonin levels. How does serotonin affect our mood? Serotonin is often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter because it's associated with feelings of happiness and well-being. It works by binding to receptors on the surface of cells in the brain, triggering a cascade of chemical reactions that can affect mood, among other bodily functions. One way that serotonin affects mood is by regulating the production of other neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and norepinephrine. These neurotransmitters are also involved in regulating mood, and imbalances in their levels can lead to mood disorders like discouragement and anxiety. By regulating the production of these neurotransmitters, Serotonin can help to stabilize mood and prevent the onset of these disorders. Serotonin also plays a role in regulating the body's response to stress. When we experience stress, the body releases cortisol, a hormone that can cause feelings of anxiety and depression. Serotonin can help to counteract the effects of cortisol by regulating the release of this stress hormone and promoting feelings of calm and relaxation. How does serotonin affect our appetite? Serotonin is involved in regulating the body's appetite by influencing the feelings of hunger and fullness. When levels of serotonin are low, it can lead to an increase in appetite and a craving for high-carbohydrate and high-fat foods. This is because serotonin is involved in regulating the reward system in the brain, and these types of foods can trigger the release of dopamine, another neurotransmitter that is associated with feelings of pleasure and reward. On the other hand, when serotonin levels are high, it can lead to a decrease in appetite and a feeling of fullness. This is because serotonin is involved in signaling the brain that the body has received enough food, and it can help to reduce cravings and prevent overeating. There are several ways that serotonin affects appetite. One way is through the regulation of the hormone leptin, which is responsible for signaling the brain that the body has enough energy stores. Serotonin can help to increase leptin levels, which can reduce appetite and increase feelings of fullness. Serotonin also plays a role in regulating the production of ghrelin, a hormone that stimulates hunger. By regulating ghrelin levels, serotonin can help to reduce appetite and prevent overeating. How does serotonin affect our sleep? Serotonin is involved in regulating the sleep-wake cycle, 
which is the natural process that regulates when we feel sleepy and when we feel awake. Serotonin is released in the brain during daylight hours and helps to keep us alert and awake. As the day progresses and the sun sets, serotonin levels decrease, and the brain begins to release a hormone called melatonin. Melatonin helps to regulate our sleep patterns by making us feel sleepy and promoting deep, restful sleep. However, disruptions in the natural balance of serotonin and melatonin can lead to sleep problems. For example, low levels of serotonin can lead to difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. This is because serotonin helps to regulate the sleep-wake cycle, and a deficiency can cause the brain to become overactive, making it difficult to relax and fall asleep. Similarly, disruptions in the production of melatonin can lead to sleep disturbances, such as insomnia or daytime drowsiness. Serotonin is also involved in regulating rapid eye movement REM, sleep which is the stage of sleep where we experience vivid dreams. Low levels of serotonin can lead to a decrease in REM sleep, which can cause feelings of fatigue and difficulty concentrating during the day. Scientific Studies There have been many scientific studies on serotonin and its effects on our body and mind. One study published in the Journal of Psychiatry and Neuroscience found that serotonin is involved in the regulation of our stress response. When we're under stress, our brain produces cortisol, a hormone that can damage our brain cells. However, serotonin can help protect our brain cells from this damage. What is Serotonin Syndrome? Serotonin syndrome is a potentially life-threatening condition that can occur when there is too much serotonin in the body. It's most commonly caused by the use of certain medications, such as antidepressants, that increase serotonin levels. However, it can also occur when multiple medications that increase serotonin levels are taken together or when herbal supplements that increase serotonin levels are taken along with medications. Symptoms of serotonin syndrome can vary in severity, but may include agitation, confusion, rapid heart rate, high blood pressure, dilated pupils, muscle rigidity, and high fever. In severe cases, serotonin syndrome can cause seizures, coma, and even can be fatal. Here's a fictitious example to help illustrate the condition. Sarah is a 35-year-old woman who has been struggling with depression and anxiety for several years. She was recently prescribed a new antidepressant medication that increases serotonin levels. However, Sarah also regularly takes an herbal supplement that claims to boost mood and reduce anxiety. She thinks nothing of taking her usual dose of the supplement along with her new medication. Over the next few days, Sarah starts to feel more anxious and agitated than usual. She experiences muscle twitching and feels like her heart is racing. She also has trouble sleeping and feels very hot all the time. She assumes that these symptoms are just side effects of her new medication and the stress of her job. However, Sarah's symptoms continue to worsen, and she starts to feel confused and disoriented. Her husband takes her to the emergency room, where doctors recognize the signs of serotonin syndrome. Sarah is immediately treated with medication to reduce her serotonin levels and is hospitalized for several days until her symptoms improve. This fictional example shows how easily serotonin syndrome can occur, especially when multiple medications or supplements are taken together. If you're taking medications that increase serotonin levels or if you're considering taking herbal supplements, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider to make sure they're safe for you to use and to watch for any signs of serotonin syndrome. In conclusion, we've covered a lot of ground in today's video about serotonin, from its role in regulating mood and appetite to its impact on sleep. Understanding how serotonin works can help us make better decisions about our health and wellness. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. And while you're here, be sure to check out our video on uncovering weight loss myths here on Splaining Health. In that video, we debunk some of the most common weight loss myths and provide evidence-based tips for achieving and maintaining a healthy weight. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Good health.